Hey everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here, rolling through IXL's Algebra 1 skills. Uh, this video, I'm going to get you started on section double B, quadratic equations. We're going to start off with the characteristics of quadratic functions and their graphs. So, um, I've got some two different quadratic functions here, the graphs of quadratic functions. This shape is called a parabola. So I've got a parabola uh, that's going up and I got a parabola that's going down here. And we're going to talk about some different uh, very important characteristics. Alright, so first of all the y-intercept. Just like linear relationships or any other kind of relationships, the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. So on this one, um, it's the negative 2, or you could say it as a point, 0, negative 2. And on this one over here on the right, it's negative 8, um, or you could say it as a point, 0, negative 8. So the y-intercept is an important point on any quadratic function. It does show up in the graph, and we'll talk about that in the future. Um, next, let's talk about the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is kind of like where the mirror image of the parabola occurs, okay? So it's the exact same on the left as it is on the right, but it's been reflected over that line. So that's why we call it the axis of symmetry. Symmetry means same, it's the same on both sides of that. It's just pointing a different direction. So that's at x equals negative two, as opposed to y equals negative two, which is a horizontal line at negative two. x equals negative two is a vertical line. So that's the equation of the axis of symmetry. On this one over here, uh, it's at x equals 4. Notice on the one on the left, it's where the graph stops getting smaller and starts getting bigger. On the one on the right, it's where the parabola stops getting bigger and starts getting smaller. That's where the axis of symmetry occurs. Next thing I want to talk about is the minimum value. So when it does stop getting smaller and start getting bigger, what's the minimum value that it achieves? On this one, the minimum value is negative 6. Uh, this one doesn't have a minimum value over on the right, it has a maximum value. So where it stops getting bigger and then starts getting smaller, it reaches negative 8 or positive 8 but never gets any bigger than that. That's its maximum value. Now the intersection of that red line and that orange line, um, they meet at a very important point which is the vertex. Okay, So the vertex on this one is at negative 2, negative 6. Notice that the x value is the um, same as the value in the axis of symmetry, and the y value is the same as the minimum value, negative 6. The vertex on this one over here is at 4, 8. And again, notice the x value of the vertex is the same as the axis of symmetry, and the y value is the same as the maximum value. All right, so let's get into a few examples. Here we're asking for the y-intercept. Okay, the y-intercept, again, is just where it crosses the y-axis. So in this one, uh, we can just put 6. No need to put it in the form of a point. I already did some on IXL, and it accepts just the value 6. Uh, over here on the right, where does it cross the y-axis? At 0. So its y-intercept is 0. Again, I don't think that's going to drive you crazy because it's the same as linear relationships, really. Next, trying to identify the coordinates of the vertex. A very important point to locate on any parabola. Uh, that is right here. Okay, So in this case, it's 1, 2, 3 to the left and 6 up. So negative 3, positive 6. On this one, it is right on the y-axis but 8 down. So 0, negative 8 are the coordinates of the vertex. All right, now that vertex really tells us everything. It tells us about the axis of symmetry, and it tells us about the maximum or minimum value. So right here, we're being asked, what's the axis of symmetry? Well, the vertex is at um, 1, 1. So the axis of symmetry is uh, going to be at x equals negative 1, right there. So we actually have to write an equation, though. It does say what is the equation 
of the axis of symmetry. So the equation is x equals 1. All right, on this one, what's the equation of the axis of symmetry? Well, let's find the vertex first. The vertex is right there. It's at negative 2, negative 1. Really, the negative 1 doesn't matter to us right now. In fact, here's what I'll do. Copy this. So the axis of symmetry right there is at x equals negative 2. So that negative 2 is important. x equals negative 2 is the equation of the axis of symmetry. So it's the vertical line that runs through the vertex. All right, last thing, what about the maximum and minimum values? Again, I think it's important to identify the vertex. Here the vertex is at 0, 2. All right, so the maximum value is 2. And the one on the left, our vertex is at negative 2, negative 6. And they're asking the minimum value. Well, the minimum value is at negative 6. All right, so that's, a, I think, enough that's going to get you through. You can get, I'm going to watch you get a smart score of 100 on this IXL skill. Um, and that's going to help you start to see relationships as we look at graphs closer and equations of quadratic equations down the line. Good luck.